Hey you, I'm so glad you're here today. I'm Jenny Prochko from Al Zanigo and I make videos about spirituality, goal setting, journaling, mental health and awareness, and my story. Today I would love to welcome you to my series on how to use tarot cards as a journaling tool. In this series, I'm gonna be talking about how to choose a tarot deck, tarot tools for journaling, how to use tarot cards as a daily journaling prompt. I'll be sharing some of my favorite daily, weekly, and monthly tarot bullet journal spreads that you should be using in your journal too, how to use tarot cards, what you use tarot cards for, whether or not they can tell you your future, how to use tarot cards to set your goals so you can actually achieve them and accomplish your dreams, goals, and intentions. This is gonna be an ongoing series on my channel, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the new topics that come up. I'll have a playlist to the entire series linked up above and down below in the description. Before we get into the video, I'd love to share with you my free 30 day of tarot's download. This is gonna help you get a jump start on your tarot journaling practice and give you a chance to indulge that creative side each day. Today we're gonna be talking about how to choose a tarot deck. So let's go ahead and dive in. I have a lot of tarot decks, which you can see in this video right here. Uh, I'll leave it linked up above and down below. I love tarot decks, and that's because I'm an artist and I love looking at the beautiful miniature works of art. If I could fill my home with art and have it be an art gallery and then just rotate all the artwork all the time, I would do that, which is a major reason why I love tarot cards, because of all the beautiful imagery in these little teeny tiny miniature works of art. And they let me have many, many works of art in my home on a much smaller scale. First, I'd love to dispel the myth that you cannot purchase your own tarot card. This, I think, has been uh, shared throughout the years to try and keep the mysticism around tarot cards and keep the purchases low for some reason and it's just it's just kind of a silly thing to me. You should definitely go buy your own tarot decks. It is not bad luck to buy your own and make sure you buy one that you are drawn to and that resonates with you. So how do you choose a tarot deck? First, you should consider the type of tarot deck that you want in your collection. There are traditional decks, oracle decks, spirit animal decks, modern decks, and also playing card tarot decks. I have all of these cards in my collection and I love using them for different purposes when I'm trying to reflect on specific themes in my life. I will reach for a spirit animal deck when I am looking to embody the characteristics of an animal and to learn from them and try to embed some of their wisdom into my life. I like to reach for oracle decks when I want to feel inspired and uplifted. I love to pull out traditional decks to view their imagery. And I love modern decks because they tend to blend all of these things together. They have a little bit of oracle deck, a little bit of traditional decks, and they usually have animal imagery in them as well. And these all work together for me really nicely. Next, you want to consider the purpose of the deck and how you'll be using the deck. There are many people who use tarot decks for divination. I am not one of them. I believe that the tarot cards can't tell you your future. Tarot cards are a mirror. They can only reflect back to us what we already know. And they're also a little bit of a good friend saying, hey, you might wanna think about this if a theme comes up that is a little uncomfortable and a theme that you might have been putting on the back burner and just ignoring. They're the good friend that gives you a little bit of a nudge to say, hey, you need to face this and I'm here with you. You can also use tarot cards for journaling, goal setting, and for leisure. You can use these as playing card decks like you would if you were going to play card games with someone. Next, consider your goals, intentions, and experience level. If you're a beginner, I highly recommend that you try out a spirit animal deck. Those are really easy to get into and a little more relatable because we see the characteristics of the animals reflected back to us from the cards through the personification that our culture has put onto animals in our stories, folklore, and fairy tales and traditions. So that's a very easy type of tarot card deck to identify with. Alternatively, if you're a beginner and you 
really just want to start from the beginning, you can try out a more traditional deck like the well-known Rider Tarot deck. There's a lot of information on this deck out there. There are many guidebooks and many books that have different explanations on how to use this deck and what the card meanings are. So if you're looking for something that has a wealth of information attached to it, try the Rider deck. While reflecting on your goals, intentions, and experience level, you also want to consider the type of feeling that you want the cards to give you. Do you want to experience a calming reading, a zen reading? Do you want to connect with your inner goddess? Are you looking for botanical decks to get to know the flowers? There are also nature-based decks and animal decks, like I mentioned before, and many more. So think about what type of feeling and what type of imagery that you'd like to see from your tarot deck when you're trying to decide which tarot deck to choose. And lastly, the most most important thing when it comes to choosing your own tarot deck is to reach for the deck that you feel drawn to. Don't choose a deck just because it's popular or just because you think you need to have it in your collection or it's because someone said to start here. Don't do that. Reach for something that you are drawn to that you feel a connection or a pull to. Reach for something with beautiful imagery that is in your taste. Reach for a tarot deck that you feel an intuitive connection to and reach for the tarot deck that you're feeling on a given day. I have a collection of tarot decks and I always just reach for the ones that are calling to me that day. Sometimes there are specific reasons that I have when I choose a tarot deck, but largely I like to choose the one that calls to me. So go forth and choose the tarot deck that speaks to you. Let me know in the comments down below what your first tarot deck was, what your latest tarot deck has been in your collection, and then also the tarot deck that you feel the most pull to. What is the tarot deck that is drawing you in the most, whether you have it in your collection or not? I'd love to hear in the comments down below. And remember, go forth and choose the tarot deck that speaks to you. I'm so grateful that you chose to spend your time here with me today. You can find me over on Instagram, at Alzanindigo, that's where I am most. Make sure you tag me at Alzanindigo and use the hashtag Alzanindigo Tribe so I can see your recreations of the bullet journal spreads that I share there and so I can see what your journal looks like and how you use tarot cards in your practice. Remember to head over to the website for the free 30 days of tarot download. This free download is going to help you get your tarot journaling practice off to a great start and give you a chance to be creative every day. And while you're over on alzanindigo.com, make sure you subscribe for the private monthly spirituality journaling prompt. This goes out on the first of every month. You'll receive a private email from me, the secret monthly spirituality journaling prompt, a private video explanation, and a peek into my private journal with my private journal entry to the same journal prompt to give you some ideas if you're feeling a little stuck. Sign up now before the first, the link is in the description. I'm so grateful that you chose to spend your time here with me today. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.